Today is day seven. Today we're reading Psalm 7. And Psalm 7 is a really powerful prayer that David gives to God. As we go about our prayer time again during this month of September, where we're resetting our spiritual compass, I encourage you to walk through these Psalms and, and let them speak to you because God has some real powerful things to say. As we take this Psalm, I encourage you to also hear what David is saying. He's speaking to God. He is speaking to the all-powerful God. And as we look at this, let's ask God, God, you have something that you want to release into your church today, into this world through your church. So let's read this Psalm. It's a little bit longer, but it's worth reading. Let's read Psalm chapter seven together. I'll be reading out of the ESV. O Lord, my God, in you I do, do I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and deliver me, lest like a lion they tear my soul apart, rending it in pieces with none to deliver. O Lord, my God, if I had done this, if there is wrong in my hand, if I have repaid my friends with evil or plundered my enemy without cause, let the enemy pursue my soul and overtake it and let him trample my life to the ground and lay my glory in the dust. Selah. Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Lift yourself up against the fury of my enemies. Awake for me. You have appointed a judgment. Let the assembly of the people be gathered about you. Over it return on high. The Lord judges the peoples. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to the integrity that is in me. Oh, let the evil of the wicked come to an end. And may you establish the righteous, you who test the minds and the hearts. O oh, righteous God, my shield is with God, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge and a God who feels indignation every day. If a man does not repent, God will whet his sword. He has bent and readied his bow. He has prepared for him his deadly weapons, making his arrows fiery shafts. Behold, the wicked man conceives evil and is pregnant with mischief and gives birth to lies. He makes a pit, digging it out, and falls into the hole that he has made. His mischief returns upon his own head, and on his own skull his violence descends. I will give thanks to the Lord, sorry, I will give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteousness, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord the Most High. This psalm was written by David as he was dealing with an enemy who was attacking him. And the first thing David does is he says, God, you check my heart. You check my heart to see if there's anything in me that's making that enemy have a right to attack me. And then he says, God, I'm going to wait on you. Selah, I am going to wait for you to show me anything. And then when he waits and God shows him nothing, he says, okay, it's time to go into to battle. It's time to go declare the justice of God upon the enemies. And so he speaks boldly. He speaks with great authority. And this is a special word for us today. As we recognize in our world that there's a lot of evil, the first thing God wants us to do is check our heart, make sure there's nothing there that gives the enemy a right to attack us. Then we ask God, you are the God of justice. You are the God who hears the righteous cry. And you, in all your righteousness, you will stand and release blessing upon your people. It's a heart that calls to God. It's a heart that confesses his own unrighteousness. But it's then a heart who celebrates righteousness. And today, as we look at this, we see God is calling us to be a righteous people. Start with our own heart. And so I'm going to pray for us as individuals. 
I'm going to pray for us as a church that we walk in righteousness. Why? So that we have the authority of God to speak his righteousness into our world. Let's pray. Father, as I come here this morning, like David, I ask you to reveal if there's anything in me that is not right, that gives the enemy a right to attack me. Because when there's sin in our lives, it opens a door for the enemy to attack. So like David, he said, God, show me, Selah. And I stop and wait. Father, as your people have waited, as they have asked you just in your, in your mercy, but in your justice, bring out in each of us that which is not honoring to you. If we have spoken against a brother, spoken against a sister, if we have spoken against your bride, your church, if we have said things that cause people to dishonor your name, Lord, we seek forgiveness right now. Father, if we have not only done that, but maybe we have chosen to hide things in our heart, Lord, you know that that will never stay there comes out our mouth out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks and so we may have some things that we said and we ask that you reveal the heart where we have failed lord i speak this not only for us as individuals but for we your church lord if we have hidden things in the church lord it's time to expose it it's time to reveal it it's a time to Declare that this will not stand in the church. Satan will not have a foothold in our churches. And then David comes and he says, Okay, God, now it's time for battle. Now it's time for you to come forth and to deal with those enemies that are attacking your church, your people. This is the bride of your son. And we declare today that you will not tolerate those countries, those leaders, those individuals, those institutions that are attacking your church. Father, just as you declared yourself to be angry with the sinner in David's time and how you used your weapons of warfare to go after these enemies, Lord, in Jesus' name, in this day, there are people who choose to fight against your church, to malign your church. And I ask in Jesus' name, it's time for these people to be brought before you and exposed, to be brought before you to release forgiveness if they choose it, or to release judgment. Father, my prayer is for your mercy. My prayer is that you would bring them before you, call them to repentance, and they would repent. But Father, if they don't, I ask in Jesus' name, use your church, use the people in your church to call out to you and release into these people the correction that needs to happen in Jesus' name. Father, may we as a church gather around and declare that your people have the authority to call upon the God who created heaven and earth and that you will correct these places. Lord, I pray for places like the United States, China. Lord, across this world where people are oppressing your church, Lord, in Jesus' name, 
It's time for your church to be cleansed. And it's time for your church to stand up and say, God, do not allow this anymore. Father, as we pray, we remember to pray as you have instructed us to pray the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your name is holy. And Lord, in this world, in your church, may you be revealed as holy and as somebody who demands holiness. Father, for your church, that's a blessing because we want to be a pure bride. For this world, that's scary because that means judging. That means you will come and you will correct evil. You will hold people accountable for the evil that they've done. Still, we ask for that because we want to see your name declared as holy. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.